New findings from a study aimed at researching just how much plutonium is in the ground and water near Los Alamos Laboratory has the lead scientist concerned. He says the levels found could be problematic if left unchecked. News 13's Chandler Farnsworth has the story. I am just trying to show New Mexicans what the truth is here. That's Northern Arizona University chemistry professor Michael Ketterer, a scientist researching plutonium levels from a trailhead at Acid Canyon in Los Alamos. I, I, I see a lot of things to be concerned about here. In his study, Professor Ketterer says he found, quote, alarmingly high results of plutonium contamination. Though radiation levels are not high enough to hurt people walking the trail, advocates with Nuclear Watch New Mexico worry about what could happen if a fire broke out, warning that the smoke inhaled could lead to lung cancer. Were Acid Canyon to burn, in a wildfire, and we know that threat is all too real, that could be dangerous in the form of respirable plutonium uh, that is released uh, to the air through wildfire. We can't really predict where it's going to go and uh, how bad it's going to be. The land that Professor Ketterer researched used to belong to Los Alamos Laboratory. Now, the property is owned by the United States Department of Energy, meaning it's their responsibility to address the issue. Several attempts were made to clean up the contamination, but advocates say it hasn't been enough. We're not having the comprehensive cleanup that is really needed. However, the United States Department of Energy says contamination levels are up to safety standards. They added they continue to collect and monitor sediment and water samples in the area. In a statement today, the DOE said the information presented today is consistent with the department's data and confirms detected levels are safe. Professor Ketterer disagrees. I I find what to me is a shocking, alarming situation that's probably among the worst I've seen, if not the worst I've seen in my career. The Department of Defense has set aside billions of dollars to create even more nuclear pit cores, the main component in a nuclear bomb. Advocates argue cleanup efforts for previous nuclear production are minimal. We're having cleanup of the first arms race. We're having funding for cleanup being cut. Chandler Farnsworth, KRQE News 13. And in an effort to replenish the nation's nuclear arsenal, the Department of Defense has directed Los Alamos National Laboratory to ramp up production of those plutonium pits. Their goal is for the lab to create 80 pits a year by 2030.